That is some really, really beautiful jasper. Definitely gonna be bringing that one home. So I'm up in a river on the north shore of Lake Superior, battling mosquitoes in an ice cold river, but it's warming up because I just found my first agate and I found it with my view tube. Wouldn't have found it without it. Let's check this thing out. Here's the freezing river and right there, probably really, really hard to see that orange piece right there. Looks like a paint agate. I just decided to look through these little itty bitty rapids that's kind of hard to see in and yes <laughs> there we go oh yes beautiful paint agate with little quartz in the center <laughs> Woo! let's see what else we can find in this beautiful river well no youtube needed to find this one right here <laughs> just glowing in the sun Oh yeah, check out those bands. Oh yeah, that is awesome. So I just found this little riverbank right here. I'm gonna grab my view tube and we're gonna check it out, see what we can all find. Got a small little handful of unique finds. Got this weird little clay concretion looking thing here. This is just some host rock, but it's got a very small geode pocket right here, so that's pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's got this beautiful green line running through it. I thought that might be kind of fun to play around with, so I'm gonna bring that home and slab it up and make a cabochon out of it. And then a couple of little nodules and a chunk of red oolitic jasper. Love this stuff. So as I'm exploring this river, if you guys could do me a really huge favor, if you're new here, hit that subscribe or follow button so you can join us on all of our future rock hunting and agate hunting adventures. We're gonna have a lot of fun this summer. Thank you if you do. Oh, we got one here, you see it right there. I am pretty sure that's a shard of Lake Superior agate. Could be layered Jasper though, but we'll grab it. That's for sure a shard of a beautiful Lake Superior agate. Can you imagine finding the entire thing? <laughs> Maybe we'll find the other piece of it today. That would be sweet. But this has got really, really nice bands on it. Just picked this out of the river. Thought it was kind of cool. I think it might be just a piece of yellow calcini. It's really, really waxy. And I was about to put my bag and I looked down, I saw this glowing right here. It's just, oh, it's just a little chip. Just a little itty bitty chip of a nodule. It's a little thing. Whew. So we walked a little ways and we found some more really pretty nodules. This really colorful one right here. It's got some light banding right down in here. This one's got some light banding around the quartz. I found this nice red oolitic jasper. Very nice piece, broken up, but Really nice. I legit, <laughs> I thought this was a limonite stained agate. I don't know exactly what it is, but the formation on it is so beautiful. So that's coming home. But then I spotted this guy from out of the water. It has host and agate bands running through it. It's so pretty. So this handful is coming home with me. So here's a fun fact about river rock hounding for agates in rivers here in Minnesota. There is a lot of algae and gunk and sediment that settles on all these rocks, but agates are more waxy. They're not as porous as the other rocks, so most of the time they don't take that algae and you can spot them. And the best feeling in the world is when I'm walking through these rivers and I look down and I see a banded beauty sitting on top of a bunch of dirty porous rocks. And that's just what happened to me. This is... <laughs> It's so nice. Sitting right in a little bit of light <laughs> is this white, it's got a little scum on it. <laughs> Get you in some good light here. <laughs> this really beautiful water level banded agate. My gosh, oh, it's not all water level bands, but this thing is packed. <laughs> 
Oh, that is the find of the day. I'm grinning ear to ear behind the camera. I don't even care that there's mosquitoes landing on my face. This is so, so beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, that one's going right in my pocket. Got ourselves another sleeve dunker. It is, there's no way you're gonna be able to see that, but. Oh wow, it's nothing. I could have swore that that was a nodule. This one, however, was worth it. It's a little nodule. Light, 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 light bands, light limonite staining. The inside is super beautiful. Almost looks like a jack-o'-lantern. It's just missing an eye on this side. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So this looks green and white right here. Oh boy. Very green. Lime, well, not quite lime, but geez, that is light. What is that? It's got to be some sort of jasper. Well, that's awesome. I love green. That is a sweet find. This one's definitely coming home. Try to see if there's enough material to maybe make some caps out of it. Very, very nice piece. Red oolitic jasper. Oh, that is so red. That's pretty. Pretty enough for me. <laughs> Going in the bag. Right here. It was sitting right there. I was looking at it. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. And yes way. Limonite stained nodule. Ah, it doesn't have a ton of bands really. Maybe a little bit right down in here. So I'm going to assume it's just a quartz bomb inside. But I'm happy with that. Oh, that is sweet. Oh yes. What a good day. I think I got a nodule right here. Ah, nope. So bad news. My view tube has come undone. So I'm gonna get that stuffed in my bag and slowly make my way back. I haven't been finding a lot. I can tell my eyes are starting to get exhausted. And, <laughs> um, but we've been on here for a pretty good while. So it's been really fun. Had a lot of great success. We'll see what we can find on the way back. I did find this funky looking thing. It'll be a fun cutter down the road, but let me get my backpack loaded up and we'll see what we can find on our way back. So when I made that YouTube, <laughs> I got a lot of suggestions on how to make it better. And one of the things people were saying was, why put the plexiglass on there? Just let it be a, you know, a bucket with a hole in the bottom. And yeah, just tested that out because I remember people saying that. And it's not the same. It looks awful. And you gotta have the plexiglass if you're gonna make one of those. You gotta have it and figure out a way to get that on there stronger because I used waterproof silicone adhesive or something like that and it lasted a little bit not as long as would have liked but sorry I'm just looking at some stuff I just found yeah didn't last quite as long as I would have hoped so I'm gonna head back down the river well we got our one find on the way back this is nodule oh really pretty nodule right here Glowing, glowing in the shade. Sweet, I'm happy with that for our last find. So I had a ton of fun agate hunting up in this beautiful Minnesota river. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know which one is your favorite. And mine was this beautiful water level agate. Thanks for watching, bye.